Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. Since last time, I made my way back to Hefe Fortress off-screen, and along the way, we gained another level. So we got some more soldiers for Jiang Wei, Zhao Yun, and Zhuge Liang. If you don't remember how to get back here from Jianye Castle, just take a look two episodes ago where I did the walk on screen. I did not feel the need to show that again. So now, let's head to Wunan Castle. I think there was an NPC who was saying that it was to the southwest of the fortress, so we just gotta go west and then south to get there. Or we could just do it like that. That works too. Alright, so, yeah, fortunately along the way, I didn't need to use any of my TP or elixirs, though I am gonna need to use some of them now. So, yeah, why don't we get everyone healed up there except for Zhou Yu, since I'm going to have him, uh, yeah, switch places with Zhuge Liang, so that way I can put in Sha to use here. It'll be very useful for us and our enemies. So we'll try to avoid that as, avoid theirs as best we can. But yeah, I completely filled up my inventory for Zhuge Liang and Ganing with elixirs. I expected to actually use some of them, but, well, I didn't. Okay, and then, let's see, let's put Zhuge Liang in the fourth slot of the lineup there. Make sure you into my acting tactician. Okay, like that. That ought to be good. Okay, and then, let's see, let's get, yeah, the Resurrect over to Zhuge Liang because we're going to be dealing with Encha at some point. Although, I would also like to give Chitu Ma over to Zhuge Liang so we can use Encha, hopefully before the enemies can do anything about it. And then, yeah, give Zhou Yu's equipment over to Zhuge Liang, mostly for... The defense, I probably won't have him doing much with physical attacks there, so I don't need to give him my power pills or anything like that. But yeah, as you can see, Rudan Castle is quite heavily fortified for boss time against Cao Zhou and Cao Chuen. Okay, so with these guys, they are pretty unremarkable, even with their strength, really. Although they've got good weapons and armor there, but we can deal with that. Okay, so let's have my physical attackers go after the rebel forces, while Zhuge Liang and Lusun use En Sha on these guys. Even though they're pretty unremarkable, they do have a lot of soldiers, so we might as well use En Sha to deal with them as quickly as we can. Alright, great start there. Hey, alright. Easy enough there. They will get harder eventually. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we didn't really uh, take many hits there. I think we're good to continue onward. Or we could fight another random general along the way. Nothing too special about him, though. This guy does not have Jameon, so it'll just take a little while to kill him, that's all. But at least I don't need to worry about any interruptions. I'll probably want to use an elixir on the soon there. Getting a little too close to 10,000 soldiers than I'd like. Okay, so... Let's see, I gave them to Zhuge Liang. So, let's see. Ah, Lucian, right. Yeah, I need to get that over to him. And then I think we're good to go. For boss time! Against Jaho Shen and Jaho De. Okay, these guys are also pretty unremarkable. That guy's even worse than the previous battle there. But they do have a lot of soldiers. So, basically, same thing as before. Physical attackers on the rebel forces and tacticians use Encha on the two of them, or the two generals, and we should be good there. Ah, oh, okay, we're not going to finish the battle this round. Oh well. 
Well, that is the sacrifice that I make for being able to resist and Sha so well. Yeah, we don't have as much strength as I would otherwise like to have. I might do a little more healing here. But first, let's gain another level. Wow. Lots of soldiers. I might need to rearrange my formation a little bit. Usually, I don't gain this one until after the next battle. But, uh, okay, so... Yeah, I can get some uh, elixirs around to at least three of my party members. Okay, let's put Tysisa in the third slot of my formation there. Okay, that ought to be good. Hold on a sec. Uh, let's get over here. I want to attack the castle from the west side, so that way it negates any water tactics that could be used against us. But otherwise, yeah, let's, uh, well, at least restore some of our soldiers there that we just gained from the level up. Oh, did I already, uh, yeah, I already used that one on him. Whoops. Well, that's okay. We've got plenty of them. We'll be fine. Okay, and then one more on Zhugeliang, and I think that ought to be good. Yep, we're good to go. For boss time! Against Cao Pi, Cao Zhang, Cao Ang, and Zhao Mao. And as usual, Cao Pi gets the jump on us, but fails to get En Sha to work, fortunately. That's why we've got all the intelligence that I do in my generals. Okay, so this time I want Zhang Wei to join in on using some tactics. So let's see, I want him to use En Sha on uh, Zhao Mao, because, yeah, he has relatively little intelligence there. Same thing with Cao Ang, he should be easy to kill. Cao Zhang might be a little more difficult, but otherwise, uh, let's see, Cao Pi is identical to the way he was before. Okay, so yeah, let's go like that, and then... Let's have most of my physical attackers go after Cao Pi here. Let's see, Zhuge Liang, let's go after Cao Zhang, since he has the most intelligence there. Of course, if we miss, that'll make this take longer. But we should be fine. I'm just only concerned about Cao Pi using Jimian. Not really worried about End Shot too much. Okay, there we go. Two down. Let's see, how about you go after the Rebel Force while the big guns go after Cao Pi. Start reducing his number of soldiers there. Otherwise, let's see, yeah, you guys can go up there as well. That'll be good enough. Ha ha! I actually would kind of like and shot a work on us once. Just so I could show you using the Resurrect, but, uh, not today, not today, apparently. Okay, now, actually, hold on. Since there's no more to kill with An Sha, how about we have Zhuge Liang go after the Rebel Force since he's pitifully weak. Free An Sha dodges! <laughs> nice. That'll work. Okay, I think we've gotten Cao Pi's soldiers down low enough where I think it's safe to use power pills. I mean, he might use Jimmy on still, but it's less likely the lower you get his HP there. And actually, yeah, why don't we heal up Jiang Wei? He's taking quite a bit of hits there. Jiga Liang isn't going to deal much damage with his physical attacks, even if I uh, had him use power pills. But yeah, I think that's what, four in Sha dodges now? Yeah, now it's really paying off. Okay, I don't think anyone else needs some healing, so yeah, we'll just, uh, I guess, chip away at his soldiers with Zhuge Liang a little bit there. Would be hilarious if he finished them off somehow. <laughs> no, not enough there. I would have needed even a double crit. I don't know that would have worked. Oh, uh, who's C 
see my E. Reinforcements? Uh oh. Nazis got hell! Oh. Oh, well, thank you for taking your time. Huh? What's going on? Hey! He's on our side! Nice! Thanks for your help. There's nowhere to run. You're in the mountains. Ha ha! I love the badass goatee that Simayi has. Nice touch there. Well, thank you. Thanks for your help. Well, not if my army has to say anything about it. Uh, I don't think so, pal. We just took your castle. Whoa, what was that? What, he's got lightning magic too? How are we supposed to deal with that? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day, if you can. <laughs>